May the peace of the Lord be with you all. As we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Come, let us now listen to the Word of God. May 18, 2024 Saturday of the seventh week of Easter Optional Memorial of St. John I, Pope, Martyr A reading from the Acts of the Apostles When we came into Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself, with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later he called together the local leaders of the Jews. When they had assembled, he said to them, Brothers, though I had done nothing against our people or the customs of our ancestors, yet I was arrested in Jerusalem and handed over to the Romans. When they had examined me, the Romans wanted to release me, because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But when the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to the emperor, even though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason therefore I have asked to see you and speak with you, since it is for the sake of the hope of Israel that I am bound with this chain. He lived there for two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is The upright shall behold your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his gaze examines humankind. The upright shall behold your face, O Lord. The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked, and his soul hates the lover of violence. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteous deeds, the upright shall behold his face. The upright shall behold your face, O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to John. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them. He was the one who had reclined next to Jesus at the supper and had said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, If it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? Follow me. So the rumor spread in the community that this disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but, if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Reflection As we conclude our Easter season, we are given the conclusion of the Gospel of St. John to ponder. Recall that John's Gospel has been a central focus throughout the Easter season. Therefore, if you have been prayerfully reading the Gospel for Mass each day for the past several weeks, then you have truly immersed yourself in this Holy Gospel. The Gospel of St. John is much different from the other three Synoptic Gospels. John's language is mystical and symbolic. John presents the seven miracles as the seven signs that reveal Jesus' divinity. Jesus is identified as I am, the Son of the Father, the Vine, the Bread of Life, the Light of the World, the Eternal Word, and more. John points to the crucifixion as Jesus' hour of glory in which he takes up his throne of the cross for the salvation of the world. And John's teaching on the Eucharist is truly profound. John states that the reason he wrote his Gospel was so, that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. John 20 verse 31 John clearly loved our Lord and understood him, 
not only by personal experiences while Jesus was alive on earth, but also through a profound level of prayer in his later years. And this depth of understanding and mystical knowledge is communicated in such a way that the reader is easily drawn into John's prayerful understanding. As John concludes his testimony about Jesus, he states something worth pondering. He states that Jesus did so many things that were not recorded by him or others, that if they were all written down, the whole world would not contain the books that would be written. First of all, everything that was written down could be the source of prayerful study for a lifetime. John's Gospel alone could never be exhausted of its meaning. But then consider this final line of John's Gospel and try to take it as a literal statement for a moment. If that statement were literally true, that the whole world could not contain the books that would record all that Jesus did, then this fact should leave us with a holy awe. In fact, the reason this must be true is because what Jesus did within each and every mind and heart he touched is truly indescribable. Volumes upon volumes could not thoroughly describe it. His divine action of saving souls, rescuing people from sin and death, and pointing them to eternal life is more than our feeble minds can fully comprehend. Reflect, today, upon the Holy Gospel of St. John. As we do conclude this Easter season in our reading of John's Gospel, allow yourself to sit in awe of the infinite activity of our Divine Lord in the lives of those who have turned to Him. Consider every movement of grace in their lives that has been accomplished with such care and love by our Lord. Reflect upon the fact that for eternity you will be contemplating the Eternal Word made flesh, the Messiah, the Great I Am, the Son of the Father and every other name given to Him who is our God and King. Saint John loved our Lord and understood Him deeply because he spent his life prayerfully pondering all that Jesus did. Continue to commit yourself to this holy pondering so that you will be drawn more deeply into this contemplation with holy awe. Let us pray. Jesus, Messiah, you are truly beyond comprehension in your beauty, glory, and holiness. You are God from God and light from light. You are the great I am, and all the books in the world could not properly describe the depth of your greatness. Fill my mind and heart with the gift of deep spiritual insight so that I, like St. John the Evangelist, will be continually drawn into a holy awe of you. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family, so that they may also be blessed as you are. May God bless you.